Hello and welcome back. So let's add one more user here uh, to this particular scoop. So add one more. This one I want to add a female. So uh, I don't even have uh, female names here in my mind. Let's try Anna, something like this. I think it's double N, is it? Anna Jones. Let's do that. Anna at yahoo.com. Uh, it's female. Select your rank. This one may be for the reception. And then here we'll have um, password. Password, password, then let's add. Okay, more users. Let's add one more that will act as a lecturer so that we can see what access levels they're going to have. So this one will be male and uh, um, I don't know how to name these guys. So it will be vibe at yahoo.com mail and lecturer password password retype password and enter okay so at least we have several people here which is awesome now if we go back to another school go to staff members we just have that so just to show that it's still working change to that school staff members there we go so now let's begin to polish the profiles of these people so if i click on profile here it's supposed to take me to the profile page now maybe uh, you don't want to put this button you can just put the link on the username itself or the image here so that you just click on the image to go to their page or we can leave it at profile but then let's edit this to take us to the profile page of the particular user right so profile.php is already here so it says view profile which exists now what i want to do is receive an id here so i'm just going to receive an id let's set it to an empty string in case it's not there like so and then we want to get that id so here i'm going to say user is equal to new user since we want to get a user and then i will say uh, row row is equal to now right here where there is where let's go to our model and just modify the where close here so this is the model.php in core so i want to copy exactly the code in where i will duplicate this function and change this one to where and put a capital single like this where you can say single or you can say one like this it's up to you but we are getting a single row so maybe for simplicity we're just going to say one or maybe we say where row maybe that will make sense so where row everything else stays the same the only difference is that when we get our data instead of returning uh where does it return say return data here ah i see data is equal to that select all we get that run oh this is for running functions oh i see what's going on here date after select how is this even working oh it's looping through the information okay all right so at this point what i will do is say 
put an if statement. So return um, okay without complicating things let's just say if if the result is an array like so then data is equal to uh, data zero like this that way we only return the first item so maybe instead of saying where row you can just say first like this then it will return the first item so this is a function for getting the first item like that and then so we can do that as well it's really up to you what you want to name these things so it will return just the first item there otherwise it will return false okay so here if i come back to profile so it's going to be row and we'll say is equal to user first like this and we have to put our where clause here so the id it's not id it's uh, user id is equal to whatever id is provided in the url like so and then we're going to add the result of that down here and say row and let's add that row like this okay so we have provided everything required if i now oh, i need to change the link as well let me go to the um the users no 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 that single user or oh, it's actually users view like this so right here where it says profile i need to specify a link so i'm just going to copy what's in here like so put it right there this one will go to profile slash and then let's echo out um, the row um, user ID and then close that okay so refresh there we go so we have uh, yeah so let me just try with maybe this one click and there we go so if i come back click there we go so the information is obviously incorrect but um, let's change that so once we get here this is the url and the key to the user so let's add uh, we can add our breadcrumbs here if we want but for now, let's uh, actually we should. Let me get breadcrumbs, which is right here. This is. Uh, wait a minute, something is off here. Users, let's go to schools, shall we? Schools the view. Okay, so that's how the breadcrumbs should look. So copy that. Come back to the users view and let's replace that with this same thing let's go to the profile view now and let's replace the crumbs there boom and let's go and see what we have in the controller for screws for breadcrumbs so exactly what we did here i will copy and go to my profile controller duplicate that and put grams which i will put here as well and of course i have to load them so there's dash dashboard there's a uh, profile uh, yeah actually yeah that's just profile there so profile 
like this. Mm -hmm. We can add a last one here, a last item, which will be, um, let's see. Maybe this will be users. I'm not really sure what to add here. Okay, so if I say if is, or just say if row like this, then I can add a last one. Which will contain the name from the row. So right here, instead of profile, it's going to be uh, the first name. Wait, is that accurate in the table? Is it first name? Yes. Okay, that should do the trick. So if I come back and refresh, you see now that's what we have on there. Okay, if I go back to staff members, Okay, undefined variable crumbs on line five. That's understood. This is on the uh, users, yes, yes. So what I should do is copy this. Go to the users uh, controller. Let's add some crumbs here, bread crumbs. Let's send them to their destination comma, duplicate, okay, wrong place, let me just copy this, put it here, and put it there, okay, that should solve the problem, but here it should be users, because that's the, actually, here it says staff, but the link is users, okay, great, Let's see that error go away. There we go. So staff, schools, staff. Okay. Um, and then here I can click on a user. That's John. Good. We'll fix things as we go to make them better. But here, let's see if we can uh, add the content, display the content here in the next video.